Today we're going to show you how to kinesio tape for low back pain. Low back pain is a very common diagnosis in all populations, including runners. This is just an image of how everything should look when you get done. Okay, so the first step is to have your patient in the yoga pose, the child's pose, or as close as you can to that pose. You want the spine to be in some flexion. So the length of the tape is going to be about three quarters of the distance that you want it to go on the back. Uh, again, I round the edges just so the, the edges don't get pulled up by clothing or anything else. So again, with these, the, the anchors or the starting point uh, is going to have zero tension on it. So I take the backing off and lay down on the skin with no tension. Uh, both of these strips are going to go right next to the spine and not directly over it because you want to be over the muscles in the low back. And then with this technique, you're going to do paper off tension, which just means that you slowly pull the backing off as you apply it to the skin. And again, the end has no tension. And then we're just rubbing it here to activate the heat and to make it stick better. And the next side is going to be exactly the same. No tension on the on the anchor, paper off tension which tends to be around 10 to 15 percent just naturally. Uh, that's how the tape is put on the, the paper backing. And you're going to go straight up the side of the spine so you've got the tape over the paraspinal muscles on either side of the spine. Now the next part is something that you can choose to add or not. Uh, I like to. I think it gets slightly better results. Um, uh, if you look at a kinesio taping book it recommends you only use one um, I've used two, and again, I, I think the results are better, so in this example I'll show you how to place both. Um, you're going to ask them where the most amount of pain they're having is, and this is where the first piece is going to go. And we're using that tension about 20% in the middle. Lay it down, and then both ends have no tension. So you're just giving a little bit of tension through that middle. Now the second piece I put just above where they're having pain uh, and that's just something I've played with. There's nothing, there's no specific reason why it's like that. Uh, but I, again, I have had better results doing it that way so I do that with most patients. Again, just a, about 20% of tension in the middle and then nothing on the ends and then rub both to activate the, the sticky stuff. And then what you want to do is have the patient sit up all the way and ideally as I'm pointing out here you should see the ridges in the tape and that means that you didn't put too much tension on it. 